Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application with the ABP framework, but we'll be using the minimalist single layer template. For this video, the UI framework will be MVC, and the database provider is going to be Entity Framework Core. Let's get started. So this is what we'll be building. We have a very simple to-do list web application right here. And we can type in some things to do. So we can say make some coffee. And we can say, for example, feed the cat and clean the house. So we can type in. We can get a list. And we can also delete. Now, the first thing we'll do is copying the install command. I'm going to copy the install command from here. And I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to install the ABP CLI. And as you can see, it's already here. And next up, I'm going to navigate to the desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it the same name as our application, to do app. And I'll go to it. And next up, I'm going to copy the command to create our solution. And let's open it up. And as you can see, it's a minimalist, non-layered startup solution, and we don't have any layers like before. Everything is in one project. So let's create the database and see the initial data with this command. After we put it in the root directory. So this is the root directory. Let's open up a terminal, and let's paste in the command right here. And this will create the database and see the initial data. After that, we can run our project so we can take a quick look at it before we do anything. And here is our startup template. Let's log in. And as you can see right here, this is our startup template. We have a small administration section right here with both tenant management and identity management. The tenant management lets you create a whole other tenant with its own identity management of both users and roles. And we also have our own roles and users of this admin application. And we also have our project settings right here. Now let's stop running our project and get coding. Now the first thing we'll do is defining the entity. This application has a single entity and we can start by creating it. Let's create a new to-do item class under the Entities folder of the project. So I'm going to copy this from here, and I'm going to find the Entities folder, and I'll create a new class right here, to-do item. And let's paste in the code. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root, and good is the primary key. Next up is the database integration. We're going to copy this dbset property, and we're going to find the dbcontext in the data folder. We'll paste it right here. Let's import the missing references. And next up, we're going to copy the navigating code. And we're going to paste it in the on model creating method right here. And by that, we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. And next up, let's code our first migration. I'm going to copy this command from here. And I'm going to paste it in the root directory, same as this one. And we'll also update the database. Next up is creating the application service. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application. And we need to perform the following use cases. Getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item, which is as we've seen in the example. But first, let's create the DDO. The application services typically get and return DDOs instead of the entities. And so we're going to create a new to do item DTO class under the services and then DDOs folder. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to find the services folder, DTOs folder, and I'm going to create a class right here to do item DTO. And I'm going to paste it right here. It's a very simple DTO class that matches our entity, the good and the text. 
And next up is the application service implementation. Let's create a new to-do app service class under the services folder. So it's right here. We're going to create the class to do app service. And we're going to paste it right here. Now this class inherits from the application service class. And it's a class that's coming from the framework and it implements our use cases. The getting the to do items, the creating a new to do item and deleting an existing to do item. And now we're ready to implement the methods. First, I'm going to copy the getting the to do items. And I'll paste it right here. And let's import the missing references. Next up, the creating a new to-do item. And I'll paste it right here. And last but not least, deleting a to-do item. And I'll paste it right here. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the iRepository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity. And then we've used its methods right here. The get list async insert async and the delete async. These are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now let's code our user interface. This is what we're looking for, same as the example. And let's copy the index.cshtml.cs and we're gonna find it right here. And let's paste it right here. Now, this class uses the to-do app service to get the list of the to-do items and assign the to-do items property, and we'll use it to render the to-do items on the Razor page. Next up is the index.cshtml. We're going to copy it from here, and we'll paste it right here. We're using ABP's card tag helper right here to create a simple card view. And you could directly use the standard HTML and bootstrap structure, but however, the ABP tag helpers will make it much easier and safer. And we're using scripts and styles right here, so let's add them. Let's copy the JavaScript file, and let's create it right here. index.cshtml It already exists, but writer fails to see it. So I'm going to delete it from here and I'm going to create it again. Index.cshtml. And let's paste it right here. Now in the first part of the code, we've subscribed to the click event of the trash icon when we've deleted something. And we've also shown a notification on the UI every time we've deleted something that says, Hey, this to-do item has been deleted, right? And also the removed items been deleted from the DOM. So we wouldn't need to refresh the page every time we delete a to-do list item. And on the second part, we've created a new to-do item on the server. And if it succeeded, we would then manipulate the DOM to insert a new list item element to the to-do list. And this way we wouldn't need to refresh the page every time we create a new to-do item. And last but not least, the CSS file. Let's copy it. And let's paste it right here. And by that, we can run our project. And by that, we have our to-do list web application. We can type in something, make some coffee, feed the cat, and for example, clean the house. So we can type in, and we can get the list, and we can also delete. The interesting part that we don't have time to explain in the video is how we actually communicate with the server. And see this section for more information. And that's how to create a to-do list web application using the ABP framework with the single layer. See you next time.